Go. Hey, this is Dan and Leslie from the Q Crew Radio Show. We're live on the road today. We're doing something new since we're in a new building and we can't have animals in. We thought we'd take the show on the road every Tuesday now. We're going to go to the VHS. We have Amanda from the VHS here. And uh, we're going to do our pet of the week here with you guys. Makes it a little bit easier for you guys, I think. It does. Of... This is not very easy to transport. No. It's my pet of the day. Our, our pet of the day is Ralphie. Oh, yes. And Ralphie is a pig. <laughs> not like being rude, but he's a real pig. Uh, and he likes Cheerios, so he's a healthy fit. <laughs> so, so let's go take a walk real quick. We're gonna go over here so we can hear. So tell us a little bit about Ralphie. Get some more ammo here. There you go, Ralphie. Here. All right. So Ralphie is um, almost a full-grown pig. Okay. He, the reason we kind of wanted to do a pig is because of the micro pig trend, the yes. teacup pig trend. It's just not a real thing. We have so many people that ask us if we get like teacup pigs and micro pigs, yeah. and it's actually not a real thing. Most of the time when you get a baby pig like that, they are um, intentionally underfed to stay small. Oh, and really? even if you get one that's little, it's going to grow up to be much bigger than you anticipated. So is Ralphie what a normal pig size would be? Because he looks pretty big. Usually, yeah. Potbelly pigs can be, <laughs> at the very least, you're probably going to have 40, 50, 60 pounds. We've had oh, wow. them here upwards of 300 before. So um, how, how big is Ralphie right now? I'm not sure how much he weighs. I did not look at that, but I should have. Um, and the other thing about pigs is they grow for up to four years. So it's not like a dog where your one-year-old dog is about gonna be the, the size, size it's going to yeah. be. You might have a pig that grows just for much longer than you thought. You better so, be careful, Ralph, because yeah. you got skinny little legs. you got to start doing some leg <laughs> workouts out here. So what would an adoption be for Ralphie? What would somebody want to be? Ralphie's $100 um, okay. because he is going to be neutered before he goes home, which is great. Um, and he'll have his piggy vaccines. Piggies actually need vaccines, which oh, I did okay. not know until I worked here. Um, and then he can live in Evansville city limits now. Recently. Oh, he can. Yes. Okay. Oh, very cool. They recently passed the city ordinance or amended it, I should say, to where potbelly pigs are allowed as indoor pets in the city. So how, like, as a pet, as a pig? I know a lot of people do have pigs as pets. Obviously, not like a dog, not like a cat. So you're gonna feed them what? Normal pig food, and then will they go for walks? Will they play if you want yeah. to play? Yeah, um, they eat pig chow, and then also lots of fresh veggies. We do okay. lots of greens, um, honey nut Cheerios. Is honey nut Cheerios. Cheerios. Yeah. Yeah. Cheerios. Um, and then they do take walks. They can actually be trained, just like a dog. Okay. He's working on sit. He doesn't know it yet. Um, but they can be taught to walk on harnesses, and they <laughs> they're usually like my purse. <laughs> They're usually pretty clean too, so you can have them in your house without worrying about a huge mess. But I thought pigs and pig style pigs are supposed to be filthy. Yeah, I nice. know that's just the stigma, Dave. Why though? Why? Look at and that. he's tail. offended by that stigma. I'm sorry, Ralphie. Look at his tail. He's here to bust that stigma. <laughs> I tell you. So, so Ralphie, he's up for adoption. So somebody obviously even had a surgery and stuff like that. Hundred yeah. bucks. Uh, so are, are pigs now becoming like you said the trend and stuff like that? But do you have other pigs at the VHS if people are interested? Or? We have one little smaller pig. Her name is Dottie. She's um, a little bit sassy, so she couldn't come out today. Okay. She's still learning not to nip at your feet when you run by. That's good. Um, <laughs> which is kind of endearing, but also not not super adoptable. Um, so yeah, we do have two right now, Ralphie and Dottie. Well, there you go. So again, we'll be doing this every Thursday, coming to the VHS, and uh, I know we'll talk about maybe taking a walk in the cat room of one of these times and stuff like that, but if you want to adopt Ralphie, you guys are open today. What are your normal business hours if you want to stop by and see Ralphie? And in the end, look for Dottie. Tuesday through Saturday, 12 to 6. There you go. We're here. Bye. <laughs>